fibrillation of the heart is when the heart is in chaos and cannot pump blood to the body. By stopping this chaotic activity, the heart's pacemaker can begin to send out an electrical impulse to which the heart's electrical circuit can understand and respond. It is important to continue chest compressions until the victim starts breathing on his own or has a pulse or until more advanced help arrives and takes over. The health ministry here at St. Charles has facilitated the purchase of an automated external defibrillator, more commonly known as an AED. This AED is located in the foyer of the Keeley Center on the wall next to the door to Borromeo Hall. The defibrillator would be used in case someone experiences a cardiac event here at St. Charles. At the moment, we're in the Pope Room setting up for a meeting where we will explain the AED, its location, and how it is to be used in an emergency situation. This procedure will follow the American Heart Association's chain, chain of, of survival. survival. Good morning, Steph. Good morning, Mr. Morrow. Hey, thanks for coming and getting the training and for setting up the chairs and helping us with getting ready for the meeting. It's always a pleasure, Mr. Morrow. I do it myself, but for some reason, I'm really not feeling very well today. I'm sorry to hear that. You do look a bit pale. <sighs> Mr. Morrow, are you okay? Are you okay? Help! Someone help! You call 911. You get the AED. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Begin 11, 12, by removing 13, all 14, clothing 15, 15, from the 16, patient's 17, chest. 18, Cut clothing 19, 20, if needed. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. 31, 2, Look carefully 3, 4, at the pictures 5, 6, on the white 7, adhesive 8, pads. 9, 10, 11, Place pad 12, exactly 13, 14, as shown 15, in the picture. 16, Press 17, firmly 18, to patient's 19, bare 20, skin. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. No one should touch the patient. Analyzing. No one should touch the patient. Shock advised. Clear. Stay clear of patient. Press the flashing orange button. Shock delivered. Be sure emergency One, two, medical three, services four, have been called. Five, six, it seven, is eight, 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 nine, eight, 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 Good news, everyone. I survived. Thanks to the new AED and due to our helpful youth. When it comes to a cardiac event like this, every second counts. The chance of survival drops significantly over time, and there is only a 5% chance that the patient will survive. Therefore, you must act quickly to one, recognize a cardiac event and immediately call 911. Two, rapidly begin CPR with chest compressions at the rate of 100 per minute, approximately the tempo of the song Staying Alive, and three, Quickly administer defibrillation. These are the three most critical steps in the American Heart Association's chain, chain of survival. survival. The next two steps will be taken care of by the hospital and the patient's doctor. It's important to know that the defibrillator is only used for a specific type of cardiac event named sudden cardiac arrest. This is different from a typical heart attack. A person suffering from sudden cardiac arrest, as you have seen, loses consciousness, and stops breathing. On the other hand, a person with the symptoms of a heart attack will not feel well, but will remain conscious and continue breathing. In the case of a heart attack, move the person to a comfortable location and call 911. Also, have someone retrieve the AED, but you will only need to use it if the person stops breathing and loses consciousness. By the way, if you are wondering if harm could be caused by using an AED on a person who does not require a shock, don't worry. The AED will automatically determine when a shock is actually needed. Thanks, everyone, 
for taking the time to learn about our new AED and the chain, chain of, survival. of survival. Although we're pretty excited about this new machine, we must pray that it will never be needed. To protect yourself and your family, be sure to regularly visit our health ministry's blood pressure clinics. While there, you'll learn more about maintaining a healthy heart. May God bless you with a safe and a healthy future. Thank you.